Okay. Welcome guys, we're going to do another session with Latin Jazz. My name is Adam Skinner. I'm going to show you today how you can use upper structure triads in comping. So first I'm going to explain what an upper structure triad is. All right, let's take this song, Autumn Leaves. It's in G minor. And uh, the chords which are here are C minor 7. Going to F7, B flat major 7, E flat major 7, A minor 7 flat 5, D7, G minor 9, to 6. All right? So, in every uh, of these chords, they're based on the chord scale, which is G minor aeolian. And from this you can deduct chords, triads, going up this chord scale. And uh, for each chord, you can find from these chords to get an upper structure triad. So if you have C minor 11, C minor 7, then I can get an upper structure triad, which is B flat. So I can actually play this structure separately. And it sounds good. The best way it sounds if I have the upper structure triad with the third of the chord in the top. Then it sounds bright. And here I can add just seven and third of the chord. Like this. So, uh, what this is, is a scale. It's a Dorian scale. And I'll give you just the solutions now. So for a Dorian scale, you can always have an upper structure triad, which is based on the seventh scale degree. Seven, a B flat. So I can play. Sounds good. And then the next chord is F7. And uh, this is a Mixolydian scale. Uh, and for that scale, you can use uh, the five minor but it only has one tension the nine so usually what you do is you play a Lydian dominant scale you have a Lydian here sound which gives you the option of an upper structure tile from the second scale degree a G so if you have F7 here Sounds good for the mixer chord. And then we go to uh, B flat major 7. And for those, usually you can play the fifth scale degree. You get the 9 here, and you have a bright major triad. And you want to make sure that the upper structure triads are major triads because it makes them sound more bright. And for this chord you can play, if you want to, a structure of fourths. And you can do the same for E flat major 7, a 5 chord and B flat again. And you can play a structure of fourths underneath. Upper structure triad. We have another tricky chord, A minor 7 flat 5. You can't play an A flat here because you get a flat 9 with the root. So you can raise this and play the G again. So then you have a Locrian uh, natural 2 instead of the usual Locrian. you get this sound you have A minus 7 flat 5 and then you come to D7 which I can play usually play altered scale and there are several options here you can play flat 6 or flat 5 
So either of those will work. And then for G minor, Aeolian. You can play again the flat seven. So let's check out how I could comp this. So for C minor, 11, 7. And then for F, you have 11, 11, 13, sharp 11, 9. And then you have B flat major 7. And then you have E flat major 7. Flat 5. And then you have a A minor 7 flat 5. G. I like to play A minor 7 flat 5 like this. I take out the third. Sounds better. And then, and then I play the altered sound. Which is the uh, flat 5 upper structure tied. I can also go flat 6. And often if it's a long... I like to go I'll just go through the chord going to and then when I play the G minor 6 I can play the C triad so again I'm going to play this through so you get a, a feeling of the sound C minor F13 and then we have uh, B flat and then E flat A minus 7 flat 5 and then D altered to G minor G minor 6 yeah and then what many Cuban pianists do they play upper structure triads when they play the tumbaos uh, so you get a richer sound. So you're basically playing jazz chords and what they would play then would be like So you play four notes here and four here So you play uh, C minor 9 Punctually up. So again, this could be like three up here. solo you can make it like uh, like the
so I hope this has been a, a good um, introduction for you. So shortly on Dorian chords, Dorian scale, you can use the flat seven on top. On mixo chords, you can do Lydian. You can also use five if you want to. But it's a five minor, so it's not as poignant as the two. And on major seventh chords, you can use the five. And here. And here you can go and play the two to get the Lorcan natural nine. And for the altered chord, you play five, flat five, and flat six. And again, a Dorian chord, seven. If you go to minor six, nine, you can play the uh, fourth. Okay, so good luck with your practicing, and I'll see you in the next video.